went from no kids to three kids to four kids in one calendar year. And then we later doubled from four kids to eight kids. Debbie Shug and her husband knew early on that they wanted a big family with lots of kids, adopted kids, biological kids, deaf and hearing kids. I saw a tremendous need for um, the deaf children who are in foster care. They're one of the most marginalized groups within that system. And so we felt that because we had a situation to offer where we had deaf and hearing and we had ASL and English, um, that we had the perfect environment to keep siblings together. Take Moses, now 22 years old. When he and his sisters were adopted 19 years ago, he was an angry child who could barely walk and had no language skills at all. Today, he's thriving. And I got to go to a good school and I just graduated. Hayden is a high school senior looking forward to college. He says growing up with eight siblings was never dull. It's chaotic having an eight-kid family where we're, there's a lot of us. Um, but just like how it can be overstimulating, it's also eight times the fun. And that's a recurring theme in this family. They laugh a lot and clearly have fun together. Vanessa is now a mom herself. I'm the mom I am to my amazing kids because of my mom. The way she grew me up, the way she kind of the way she loved me, the way she cared for me, it really showed me how I should care for my kids. Like Vanessa, many of the shuglings, as the kids are affectionately called, are now moving out and starting their own lives. But they come back often to the home that was their safe haven, and Debbie wouldn't have it any other way. We are so blessed to have these kids, and I just, I think about how much we've grown as individuals, how much we've grown as a couple, how rich our family life is, just that gorgeous tapestry of all of the kids' stories and temperaments and strengths all woven together. It's just, it's extraordinary, it's extraordinary.